I'm going to talk about the balance between radiotherapy and uh, toxicity and trying to find ways to, to get that right. Um, in London right now, the fashion season is starting and uh, we have the handbag season, Bolso. And if you read the, uh, the newspapers talking about fashion, they have this expression which is must have, hay que tener. I don't know whether this is um, something that you understand in, in Spanish, but somehow you can't live without one of these handbags. And maybe, maybe it's because I'm a man, but I don't actually quite get this. Because breakfast time today, the lady comes in, she puts her handbag on the chair beside her. It's almost like there's a member of the family there for the whole breakfast. And in the UK, you have names for these. They're called, you know, here's my George Clooney. And I don't quite get it because it doesn't matter how tall you are, how, what size you are, what age you are, what your colouring is, you must have one of these handbags. And so I don't understand that any more than people saying you must have radiotherapy in my MDT. So, preoperative chemo radiation is a standard. We've already looked at that. And it's a standard because we do uh, uh, achieve low levels of local recurrence. Uh, there is good toxicity, acceptable toxicity, sphincter sparing, and as you just heard, there's a role for actually organ sparing, non-operative. And I agree that you do reduce the local recurrence rates, but they're getting pretty small anyway. I think you're, we're really cracking this, this notion of uh, local recurrence. Um, I'm not sure that toxicity and late toxicity is exactly uh, acceptable, it is for most patients, but all the trials have four or five patients who die, and I guess that they won't find it terribly acceptable that chemo radiation has killed them. And about 10% of people seem to suffer from uh, late toxicity. The, um, the issue about sphincter sparing is still uh, an ongoing question, and you've just heard a lecture about uh, avoiding surgery, so I'm not going to go there. Um, this is the landmark paper, the, uh, the, the, the German study, uh, and it does show that we reduce uh, local recurrence. And hence, we have these sets of guidelines, which, as Bruce Minsky says, how come we have the same data, the same evidence, and yet we have different sets of guidelines about low, intermediate, high risk? In that one, that's the NICE guidelines, which I'm partly responsible for. You see in there, we, if you're an intermediate risk, 